Assalamu alaikum, I am Zahra Akbar from BS Honors Biological Sciences 4th semester and I am here to discuss the topic Seed Bank. Seed Bank, a seed bank stores seeds to preserve genetic diversity hence it is a type of gene bank. As all knows, a seed contains all the genetic makeup of a plant so useful or beneficial genetic makeup can be stored or preserved by this way. The seed bank preserves dry seeds by storing them at a very low temperature. It means the seed banks don't work at high temperatures or wet seeds cannot be stored by seed bank. Spores and teridophytes are conserved in seed banks but other seedless plants such as tuber crops cannot be preserved this way as the word seedless is describing that they are not containing seeds so that cannot be stored by seed bank. This is for general information. The largest seed bank in the world is the Millennium Seed Bank housed at the Wellcome Trust Millennium Building in London. Types of seed bank. Seed bank is the reservoir of viable seeds or vegetative propagules. Here the word viable means capable of development or growth. So the seeds that are capable of development and growth are stored by seed bank. There are two types of seed bank, aerial seed bank and soil seed bank. Soil seed bank. The soil seed bank is the natural storage of seeds often dormant within the soil of most ecosystems. Means dormant means at the sleeping or resting state. The resting state exists due to the different durations of seed. When the favorable condition or favorable time comes, the seed germinate and become less dormant. Researcher Dan Cohen was one of the first scientists to model soil seed banks. The study of soil seed banks started in 1859 when Charles Darwin observed the emergence of seedlings using soil samples from the bottom of a lake. Living seeds have been found in or on the soils for different durations, different seasons at different depths, in different quantities and in different states of dormancy or procession to germination. This is due to the different durations of seeds for their germination or development. Seeds of several plant species hardly ever enter the soil but persist at its surface or in the litter for many years. Mean seeds do not directly get into the soil, they are present at its surface or in litter. Prominent examples are the large and hard fruits of Medicago and Neurada which contain dozens of seeds and can give rise to several plants over several years. Plants differing the duration their seeds remain in the soil and even within a species. And among seeds of the sum cohort, there is variability in the time they spend in the soil seed bank. And the second is aerial seed bank. A canopy seed bank or aerial seed bank is the aggregate of viable seed stored by a plant in its canopy. Canopy is the outer covering that protects from harsh weather. Canopy seed bank occur in plants that postpone seed release for some reason. It is often associated with serotony. Serotony is the tendency of some plants to store seed in a cone, for example in the genus Pinus or woody fruits, for example in the genus Banksia, until seed release is triggered by the passage of a wildfire. It also occurs in plants that colonize areas of shifting sand such as sand dunes. In such cases, the seed is held in the canopy. Even if the canopy becomes buried, thus the seed is anchored in place until good germination conditions occur. Means, until or unless favorable conditions occur, canopy uh, contains all the seeds. And even if the canopy is buried in the soil, Delay in the seed release leading to formation of an aerial seed bank is one way to deal with uncertainties of the environment. If the fire prone habitats, aerial seed storage is favored. In the fire prone habitats, aerial seed storage is favored. When seed production and inter fire establishment are not ensured, aerial seed banks are found in the arid dune ecosystem. How do seed banks preserve genetic diversity? Plant seed banks store genetic material of plants in the form of seeds. As I already told that the seeds contain the genetic makeup of a plant and it is a type of gene bank means storage or preservation of beneficial genes. So seeds are 
source of the genes of special plants or special genetic makeup so by the storing of seeds genetic makeups are actually stored seeds in a temperature controlled cabin at Kew Botanic Gardens this is also for general information part of the Millennium Seed Bank partnership the Kew Royal Botanic Gardens conserved 27,000 species in its seed bank which equals 1.6 million seeds total how do seed banks preserve seeds? Seeds can be cleaned by shaking them through a sieve or with a machine that blows air on them. Means first of all seeds are dried. To reduce the moisture content of the seeds, collectors dry them in a temperature and humidity control room. Afterwards, they place the seeds in sealed and airtight containers. Reasons to store seeds. There are many reasons to store seeds. The genes that plant breeders need to increase yield, disease resistance, draft tolerance, nutritional quality, taste, etc. of crops. Another is to forestal loss of genetic diversity in rare or imperiled plant species in an effort to conserve biodiversity extracted. Why do we need seed banks? Seed banks protect and save plant genetic diversity, which is important for a number of reasons. These saved and viable seeds contain a prior drop of useful genes that breeders can use for developing improved varieties of our major crops, for example, improved resistance to current and emerging plant diseases and insects, provide draft or flood tolerance, improve yield and nutrition. Seed banking allows long-term storage of plant germ plants for scientists and farmers to use at a later time. To preserve germ plants, the storage environments of the seed bank consist of low temperatures and low moisture which keeps the seed dry and stops samples from growing quickly. For long term storage, airtight vials store the seeds in temperature around 20 degrees Celsius and around 0 to 5 degrees Celsius for medium term storage. Thousands of seeds are stored for each plant variety. And that was all about my topic. Thank you.